Hello! I just wanted to make a quick video about some, uh, some good uses of a VCA. I didn't understand the VCA when I first got into modular. Uh, it's kind of hidden away in, uh, in fixed path synthesizers. <clears throat> so I didn't quite understand what it did. I'd like to show how we can, uh, we can modulate control voltages with the VCA and then also do some audio rate modulation with the VCA. Uh, right now I just have a pulse wave coming from an oscillator through my filter. Um, the first thing we can do is just run this repeating envelope from the Quadra right into the filter's cutoff modulation. And I'm also running it through uh, the Synthrotech delay module just because it makes everything sound better. Um, so that is pretty standard. Sometimes we would hook this up to a, a gate from a sequencer. But I'm just going to have the rhythm kind of defined by the quadra and playing with the knobs. Uh, but what I'd like to do is take this repeating envelope out of the filter. I'm going to run it through uh, a channel of my VCA. Signal input is all the way up. I'll turn the gain down and the CV amount up. And we're going to take second channel of the Quadra, uh, a looping slower envelope, kind of like an LFO, and we're going to use that to modulate the intensity of the the repeating envelope and then we're going to send that channel of the VCA out into our filter. Turn it back up. So now you notice the filter isn't being swept by this repeating voltage. It's just the intensity of our repeating envelope that is uh, changing in response to this because we're putting it through a VCA. And we can actually increase the gain of our repeating voltage so that it's uh, being applied just a little bit and it's not entirely uh, cut off. got a sequencer. I'm going to engage that. This isn't synced to the sequencer, so we'll have some interesting off-kilter uh, modulation there. And now we can play with the rate of both of these, and they'll play against each other, maybe get some interesting things happening. envelope increases the uh, changes the rate of our perceived tempo okay cool I have my filter output actually going through a, a channel of the VCA as well where the gain is just turned all the way up so it's just acting as a as a mixer so if I turn the volume up I can I can turn it down there and then we don't hear anything but the other cool thing I want to explore with the VCA is audio rate modulation um, well let's uh, let's take this third channel of the quadra and we'll uh, cycle it as well, kind of like an LFO. And uh, let's put this into the control voltage input of our, uh, our audio output from the VCA. And that will produce a tremolo effect. 
because we're going slow and turn the amount of the control voltage up and if we uh, if we turn our gain up we'll get a little bit of bleed too so the, so the tremolo isn't quite as uh, harsh but we can turn this rate of the quadro way up into audio rate start to get like kind of a ring modulated feel. I think that might be how ring modulators work except maybe it's like two audio inputs. Um, I don't really know and I don't actually have a ring modulator but you get that effect. You get interesting overtones um, but what I what I really want to do is I'm going to take the uh, Quadra envelope out and I'm going to take audio rate pulse wave wave from my other oscillator and use that as the uh, control voltage. The uh, pitch of this oscillator is being controlled by a pressure points and because we're sending the pulse wave out it's like essentially a digital signal it's it's on or off so we can almost get like some disintegrating sample rate reduction happening so we'll turn it back up and see what we get and uh, we can change the rate of that with our pressure points. This kind of sounds like bit crushing too. So there's uh, two uses for a VCA uh, that aren't just controlling the the audio of an input signal or the the amplitude or volume of an input signal. Uh, we're using the first channel to control the intensity of a modulation source with another modulation source, and we're using the uh, fourth channel with audio rate pulse wave modulation. Uh, for uh, like a sample rate reduction bit crusher effect. It um, it kind of reminds me of the song from Bjork's Vespertine where there's a harp at the end and uh, it slowly like disintegrates. Uh, that's kind of what it makes me think of. And of course, if we turn the uh, control voltage amount all the way down, we remove that audio rate modulation and then we can tune it to taste. See you folks later.